Hi, we're Mark and Shauna. This is level four, lesson five. Since you're on to level four on the ladder and we're getting more technical with your dancing, we're gonna take a simple move, the front to back, and break it down even further than we have in the past. So we know the rock step happens on one, two. So we'll start with that, one, two. Now we've been practicing really good solo movement and arms in opposition. So we know that the arms swing. They actually swing after count two on our and, and, and this is as we're moving our foot to the next position. So that beginning part, one, two, and, into our triple step. Now let's go ahead and add in the first triple step that happens on three and four. So we have one, two, and, three, and four. And you can see the arms move on the and beat between counts two and three. Again, one, two, and, three, and, four. Our next footwork is the front step. The front step happens on counts five, six, but we have to switch our arms again before doing the front step. So we're gonna move our arms again on an and beat, this time between beats four and five. So we just did three and four for our triple step. Our arms will move on and, and our front step, five, six. Now to finish the move off, we have to move our arms again on an and beat between six and seven. So we just did five, six, and seven, and eight. Now if we are going to repeat the front to back, we have another arm swing in between eight and then starting over at one. So we just did seven and eight, and one, two, and three, and four, and five, six, and seven, and eight and one, two, and three, and four, and five, six, and seven, and eight, and one, two, and three, and four, and five, six, and seven, and eight, and one, two, and three, and four, and five, six, and seven, and eight. So the important part as you're practicing the front to back is making sure those arms swing on the and beats in between those uh, correct counts. The next part of this lesson is about pulse. We've talked about pulse in previous lessons, and you're likely already using good pulse in your dancing. But as we break down these moves and show how, where the arms move, we can add further insight into how our pulse should look and feel. So if you remember, our pulse goes down and up. It's a little bit like a U shape or a smiley face, or Mark and I like to say like a skate ramp, where we skate down and then up and down and up. So we always wanna keep our knees bent and uh, bend into the legs instead of pulsing up here. So we call that a down bounce, but it ultimately does like a down and an up. So there's our pulse. Now let's see how that works in our front to back. So we go down and up, down and up. And as we're going into the up, our arms switch and we go into that triple step. And that allows us to kind of fall into the triple step if we're pulsing really well. So again, U-shape, U-shape into the triple step as our arms make that switch on the and count. So one, two, and three, and four. Now the same thing will happen after we do this front step. So we have our front step and we're gonna U-shape into the front step as well. Remember on a front step, we're gonna lean back a little bit with our upper body. That's a good solo movement for a front step. Front step, now as we switch the arms, we're going up into the U shape and then falling into our triple step backwards. So our whole, our whole front to back, U shape, U shape, and switch the arms into the triple, U shape, U shape, and into the triple. And those arms are moving on the ands. So U shape, U shape, switch arms, triple step and rock step and triple step and rock step and triple step and rock step and triple step and you'll notice that pulse and when the arms are moving is always the up part of the u shape or that skate ramp so the arms are moving as we skate up and a little bit faster and triple step and rock step and triple step and rock step and triple step and rock step and triple. You practiced stretch and release in the last few lessons 
And now that we're really focusing on where these arms move in our movement, let's take a simple move like the underarm pass and show how moving the arms at just the right count can really affect how the stretch works in a move. So we know that our rock step happens on counts one and two. So we do a rock step. Now our arms shouldn't move away from our partner there until after count number two. So we see a lot of people doing this variation. They'll do rock arm step. And that means that they're trying to do rock arms step. And they're moving the arms uh, before count number two instead of after. That causes the rock step to reach forward, like a rock reach, instead of rock step switch. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that that's wrong. You can still complete whatever move you're doing. But if we're really true to the solo movement and where the arms should move, you'll find that your stretch is much easier and the result after the stretch is uh, easy and really great momentum instead of really labored or pulled or feeling forceful. So now we'll show the correct way. We, we do our rock step on one, two, and you'll notice our feet will stay in place because our arms haven't switched yet. So we stay right in place. And then after count number two, we switch our arms, whoo, and then we can go into that triple step. And remember, it goes up and fall into the triple step. So let's go ahead and do a six count underarm pass. Rock, step, arms, triple step, triple step. And all of a sudden, that triple step is so easy, and it's really easy for me to pass my partner. So once again, we have rock, step, that's one and two, and triple step, triple step. So we're waiting to do that arm switch until the and count and until we're on an up of our pulse. Okay, a little bit faster. Rock, step, arms, triple step, triple step. Let's get a little more complicated with this concept. We're gonna take the solo movement of a swing out, which has a little bit more rotation. I'm gonna start with the follow solo movement, and we're gonna do something similar to what we would do for a swing out, but slightly varied so we can practice a couple specific things. So for our follows for the swing out, our solo movement, we're gonna start with a rock step. And don't worry if you've been doing twists on your swing out, we're gonna cover that in a later lesson and how we can get uh, cover the same concept if we're using a twist. So I'm gonna do my rock step on one and two. Now on two, as my arms are switching and I have my up of the U shape, I'm gonna go ahead and do a 180 degree turn um, during that up section. So rock, step, up, and I'm gonna turn this direction, um, use that momentum of the up skate and my arms turning to get myself around. So rock, step, turn it, triple step. Now girls, I want your right foot right here in the front, triple step. And if you can picture my partner in front of me, my right foot is aimed just between his two feet. So that's what I'm going for on this turn. So rock, turn with the arms, using that momentum of the arms switching to get me around, and triple step with the right foot in front. Let's do it with counts. A one, two, and three, and four. Now follows to finish out your solo movement for your testing, we're just gonna finish the front to back. So I have another arm swing, a front step, and a triple step. So it's a little different than what we would do in a swing out where we would complete another 180 degree turn. Uh, but this will be a good way for us to practice what we need to do. Ultimately, the uh, five, six, seven, eight feels a little bit like a front step, and that's what we want you to practice. So we have a rock, step, arms, triple step, then I finish the front to back. A one, two, and three, and four, and five, six, and seven, and eight, and one, two, and three, and four, and five, six, and seven, and eight, and one, two, and three, and four, and five, six, and seven, and eight, one, two, and three, and four, and five, six, and seven, and eight. I'm gonna break it down for the leaders as well. So leaders, we do a left foot rock step on one, two. Now we're gonna use the arm switch after two, which is also a up, 
and our arm swing there to do our turn into the triple step that just like we would do on a swing out. So I'm going to have wraps up on the left and turn around. So with counts, we have one, two and three and four. So now I've done that first 180 degree turn and I, you can picture having your partner in closed position. Okay, now five, six is similar to how we did the front and back. But remember in our swing out, we want you to do a, another rock step here. So as I swing my arms after four, so three and four, and you'll notice on this rock step, my arms are not counter body for this particular part. Now if I turned all the way and I had a front step, then they would be counter body, I would be here. But because I'm doing a rock step that I swung my arms, this particular part is not counter body, but if you can picture my partner and I swing, she's coming towards me and ultimately she's gonna go this way. So five, six, and seven and eight. So we're gonna use that last and of the, and the arm swing to turn all the way back around. So leaders, here's your whole footwork. One, two, and three, and four, and five, six, and seven, and eight. And we wanna make sure on that six and that we turn all the way around. So our last triple step needs to be facing where we started. That's important because our follow is matching our shoulders and we wanna tell her to come back to this neutral open position and she'll know where to go based on where you do that last triple step of the move. So I wanna make sure my shoulders tell her where to go on the last triple step. So one, two, and three, and four, and five, turn all the way, seven, and eight, and one, two, and three, and four, and five, six, and seven, and eight, and one, two, and three, and four, and five, six, and seven, and eight, and one, two, and three, and four, and five, six, and seven, and eight. So now you've practiced your individual solo movements, and now it's time to put them together in a swing out with your partner. So we start with the rock step on one and two, and again follows if you've been doing a twist, I'm gonna cover that twist in uh, the fix it lesson for follows. But for now we're gonna practice with a rock step so we can really swing the arms like the leaders are doing. So we start with our rock step, and remember we don't swing our arms until after the step of the rock step. So one, two. Now we're gonna use that up into that two and to switch our arms and go into the triple step. Now follows, remember, we're trying to do a whole turn on that and, and so are the leaders. So what we're gonna do now is use that arm swing on the and to turn each other around. And if, uh, if you can picture our arms are stretched away, and as we both swing them towards each other, we're able to have a lot of momentum to turn on the triple step. So one, two, and three, and four. And then that turn is really, really easy. Follows, I got that right foot in front, and Mark's ready to do his rock step. So one more time, we have one, two, and three, and four. Before we go on to count number four, we're gonna demonstrate what happens when the music gets quite a bit faster. So if Mark and I are going faster, it's natural that our arms will swing faster. So we might go one, two, and, and then that and becomes really powerful. So on a fast song, um, if we both do that at the same time, we're really giving each other a great momentum to get around. So we might go one, two, and three, and four. And we're able to really utilize that arm swing and use each other to get around for the triple step. So we're in closed position and we just finished our triple step, three and four. Now there's an arm switch that happens between four and five. And this one is the one people have the most trouble with. So the way we're gonna practice this is by staying in closed position now leaders, we're doing a rock step and we're swinging our arms, but I want you to first practice that rock step with your partner pulsing. So we're gonna go like this, and five, six. And five, six. And five, six. And five, six. Now in a swing out, we're gonna do that and with the arms switching. So as Mark does this and and lets me go and, then we finish the swing out, and I'm shoulder matching to complete the swing out. So let's show that again. We have and five, six, and five, six, 
and five, six. And when Mark's ready, he does his arm swing on the and, and five, six, seven, and eight. So we've covered two of the arm swings so far in the swing out. After two and after four, we're gonna put them together. One, two, swing, three, and four, swing, five, six. So follows, I was sort of doing a front step there, but Mark's getting ready to turn after count number six. And remember, there's an arm swing after six as well. And that's what gives Mark the rotation to get all the way back to the starting place, which tells me we're going back to open position. So on that six and leaders, you're gonna use this arm here and this arm that's connected to your partner, swing them in the other direction to face, uh, face open position. One, two, and three, and four, and five, six, and seven, and eight. Now you can see that we switched our arms, and so if we've done this correctly, our arm that's not connected should be swung forward on that seven and eight triple step. Now if we weren't connected, these arms would be back here. So it's important to note that um, you might have a little something here on that seven and eight, or you don't have to, but our, we haven't, um, the leader has not told the follow to run backwards or triple step too far away from him yet. So that was our seven and eight. There's one final arm swing that happens after count number eight. So between eight and one, this arm that's here will go backwards, and then these arms right here would go forward. So if we did it by ourselves, the arm swing that happens is this. And that is what initiates our stretch to begin the next move or to begin another swing out. So it's important here in this position, we haven't yet told the follow to uh, go away from us or to start stretching. So we did seven and eight, and it's this and that tells her we're gonna stretch again. So again, seven and eight and one, two. So the stretch actually happens on one, two, but is led on eight and. So we're gonna put this whole thing together. We have one, two, and three, and four, and five, six and seven and eight and one two and three and four and five six and seven and eight and one two